Hey folks, got another knife review video for y'all. And this is just kind of the first installment. I still have a little while before December 1st, so I won't give you an absolute final um, overall review until I've used this thing for an entire month. But I've got some stuff that need to be addressed and it and is being addressed by the powers that be so first off it's a tracker and it is from boker knives this is a, a boker plus you can see i've used this thing pretty hard already and changed a bunch of stuff but it's got the boker plus emblem on this side and the dave wanger emblem on this side so this is a dave wanger wanger forgive me bro if i'm not pronouncing your name correctly a dave wanger boker collaboration blade so the design is from dave wanger who is a top shelf knife maker the design on this thing is fantastic it's one of my favorite tracker designs that I've used thus far. It's uh, sleeker than your average tracker. So it's um, it's got all of the quarter round capabilities and combi, ground, uh, edge, geometry in a, in a small package. The I could compare this in size to a tracker T4 about lengthwise it's got a little thicker handle on it i can do a comparison video later but um 1095 was what they made this in normal micro tracker from dave wenger is in uh like nitro v or something like that like super fancy steels the 1095 they used for this the heat treat was great it was fantastic i have whipped on this thing pretty good and i've seen it in some pretty funky my dog's throwing dirt at me. Some pretty funky angles where I thought I may have been it, but it sprung back every time. It's got what they called OD micarta scales on it, and it's got these brass flared tubes. The uh, What I've done is I put a 90-degree spine here on the very front of it. It's pretty sharp, but it's not as sharp as I wanted it, so I uh, hit this with the belt sander, put 90 degrees on there, I knocked the, you can see like here, there's a, there, there's the, the overall plunge line, so to speak, the grind, and then right at the end, there's just like a secondary edge, so the little hump there, I knocked that hump off the front here, so it's one gradual angle all the way up. There's not a, um, a little secondary bevel there, whatever you'll call it, or one dude said knocking the fat off of it so i've knocked the fat off the front side and i do that on all my trackers my smaller ones anyway the big ones it doesn't matter they're uh most of the the fine detail work you can do with those guys is back here anyway or right at the tip but for this guy i wanted to make it to um personally fit me so i've done some some mods on it uh it's great. It's a great knife. So I mean, it's got it's got all of your your functions that you get from a quarter round, and it is it's pretty thin. I think it's five thirty seconds. Uh, great blade. I, I've really enjoyed it. But what I wanted to talk about is these tubes. So the second day, I was batoning it through some hardwood, and the 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 coating is. Um, it's not like a super badass coating because I wore it off pretty good within the second day that I had used it, which isn't a big deal. I don't mind wearing a coating off of it. I'm going to do it anyway. But what happened was this pin here, this tube, got where I could push it in and out like this. And I could push it so far out one way I could actually, it would separate the scale. I could see under it. And if I, if I squeezed the scales together and pushed the tube out, I could almost see the lower part of the tube like the lower end of the flare so it had a ton of movement in it and these guys 
have gotten loose too. I can't really wiggle them with my fingers, but I can get whipping on them pretty good, and, and some of them will poke out a little bit, and I'll beat them back in there. I've tried taking a brass punch and a ball bearing and two ball bearings and a flaring tool and all kind of stuff to get them to go, but it's really tough brass that they use, and I can't flare them anymore. But I got with the designer, Mr. Wanger, and he reached out to... I gave him my, what was happening in the details. This bird is so mad at me. Bird! Bird! Stop it! It ain't gonna leave me alone. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, Butcher, get the bird. Get him. Butcher ain't gonna be no help either. Okay, sorry. So, I talked to Dave, and I told him, I was like, hey man, here's the skinny. And come to find out, after I had talked to him, I'd done a post on Instagram, and tons of people end up reaching out to me. And when I say ton, tons, I'm saying 10, which is a bunch when uh, it comes to an issue with a knife, in my opinion. That's, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's a good many people. And the deal is, is it's this, it was the same problem. These, something was going on with these um, flared tubes. And there's also a video of a pilot knife that Dave Wanger designed and Boker made. The tubes also get wonky on them. So, Dave, I, I, I explained to him what was going on, and he got, he knew a remedy for it, and he got with the people at Boker, and they're going to rectify this problem. They're, they're going to do um, something different with the holes and possibly some glue. Uh, Dave Wanger done a video on his Instagram explaining what he and Boker discussed and what they're going to try to do. And he says he believes them. And, you know, it's, it's up to them guys to fix it. So I believe him. I have no reason not to. And the... Uh, to me, the issue, you know, I don't want something to be broken. I don't want it to. And I was really excited about this knife because I can't um, do a, a micro tracker from Dave. One of the custom ones are 500 bucks, And I can't swing a $500 knife. I just can't do it. I mean, I could, yeah, I just can't. I'd love to, but I can't. So when it failed, it kind of hurt my feelings. This was a, you know, this was a good budget knife that I was, going to share with people and i was excited to use it myself I, I love tracker knives and um just trying new knives in general especially supporting small um and i know I'm, i didn't buy it from dave but in a way i'm supporting his design when i purchased this and if and it failed you know two days into my 30-day review but he's saying you know we're going to get this problem fixed and i, I totally believe him but what i've done to fix it and it was something I was going to do anyway, is I don't like the little finger groove in a knife. I kind of like a barrel handle. I want it to be the same size all the way up. And that's just personal preference. But what I've done is I wrapped it with jute. I put glue on it first, clear Gorilla Glue. I got the pin back in the middle. I, I put glue on it. I wrapped it really tight with clear Gorilla, or, uh, with jute. Then I added clear Gorilla Glue. Then I've done a bunch of half hitches, and just as tight as I could get it without breaking the jute. And then finished it off with clear, clear Gorilla Glue again. And it's like, I mean, it's super tough. It's basically like a fiberglass almost. But it's got a lot, it's got some flex to it too. So it's not like crispy like epoxy. I like this. I don't know if I have any videos up of me actually doing it. It's super easy. But it's the clear Gorilla Glue in jute. And that stuff is tough. So I haven't had any more problems out of it. And I've been running it since... I think I'd done my post where it had failed on the 3rd, I think, and I've been running it since then. And what's today? The 19th, I think. So I have, I've had plenty of time on it, and I've been busting all my firewood for the heater with it thus far. So I must have been whipping on it. I've been I beat on some sweet gum with it today that was super hateful. But that's kind of a short, um, long-winded breakdown of... Uh, the issue that I had with this knife and the things that are being done to fix it. So you guys, uh, bear with me. There'll be more to come with this.
I'll get down and just break down everything about it and uh, do some demos with it here at the uh, end of the month. But uh, until then, uh, hop over and check out the stuff that Mr. Wanger has put up on his uh, Instagram page. He may have shared some stuff in other places that I just haven't seen. And uh, he's discussing the issues with some of these Boker blades that maybe you, you have. If you have, you know, drop drop a comment um, and, and, you know, we'll uh, we'll see what we can get done. You know, we, we're all in this together. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, subscribe. I appreciate the support. Later.